good morning everyone so in our last class we have started uh, our uh, second chapter and we finished till the seventh point of ingestion right so today we'll start from the eighth point that is ingestion how ingestion occurs in starfish yeah so let's start today's class So in starfish, an interesting method is found. It feeds on small animals like worms, snails, fish, etc. The food is captured with the help of a tube feed present on the body of starfish. The starfish poops out its stomach through its mouth and wraps the stomach around the captured animal. The stomach is then withdrawn into the body and slowly the food is digested. So in starfish, what happens? the process of the ingestion is very interesting why because in the picture you can see the starfish so what the starfish do the starfish with the help of their feet so this we'll call feet we can say that these are their small feet yeah so with the help of their feet the starfish they catch the they capture the food and after that what they do they will take out their stomach yeah so they will take out their stomach the stomach will come out of the body somewhere here the stomach will be sticking and then the starfish will slowly move towards the food and then the stomach when it reach when the food and the stomach reach nearby then the stomach will capture the food yeah it will surround the food and it will take the the stomach will take the food inside it yeah and after that the stomach will go inside the body of the starfish so it is a very weird method and also it's very interesting that how starfish take their food how does it takes the food the starfish will take out its stomach yeah the take it will take out its stomach and the it then it will go near the food and then the stomach will slowly take the food inside it yeah the stomach the food will go inside it and when the food comes inside the stomach the starfish will automatically take in its stomach inside it so this is the way how starfish does ingestion yeah how they eat their food so this is about starfish uh let's underline this line it feeds on small animals like worms snails fish etc yeah and this one also the starfish poops out its stomach through its mouth and wraps the stomach around the captured animal yeah so through its mouth the stomach comes out yeah <coughs> then the ninth point about frog we learn about how frog take in their food yeah so if frog uses its tongue to catch its food you, you must have seen this fro uh, a frog eating its food eating its food yeah so a frog how does a frog eats its food the frog will take the help of its tongue yeah so it will take out its tongue so fast and then it will capture the food yeah so the food automatically gets stuck in the tongue why because there's the the tongue of the frog uh, is sticky yeah so all the animals that the frog captures automatically get stuck to the tongue and the frog will immediately take in its tongue and this is how the frog eats their food similarly birds and animals have well developed organs to take in the food in our case ingestion occurs in the mouth and we use our hands for this purpose we have developed well developed jaws and teeth for cutting and grinding the food so about so what about humans do we have this kind of developed waxy tongue no can we poop out our stomach through our mouth like starfish no so how do we eat our food we take the help of our what hands isn't it so we'll take the help of our hands and with the help of our hands we will take our food through our mouth yeah so through our mouth we take in our food isn't it so this is how humans take their food or in this is the process of ingestion in humans understood 
okay now let's come to the next topic and that is for digestion so in a previous topic what was the previous topic it was about ingestion how to take in the food how to eat the food yeah so after eating the food what will happen after eating the food the food will get digested yeah so this is what we'll be learning now so about digestion please underline the first line digestion is the process of breaking down complex food molecules into simpler molecules and is brought about with the help of special molecules called enzymes yeah next line also you underline enzymes break down food particles into simpler molecules through chemical reactions yeah so underline these two separate these are two separate lines so what is digestion so whatever we eat suppose what we eat we'll be eating food what are the food that we eat suppose we, uh, we are eating one uh, <coughs> suppose we are eating a cake yeah so when you eat a cake you will eat the cake as a whole yeah isn't it so suppose this is the cake yeah so when you eat the cake our body cannot absorb whatever it is in the cake directly yeah so what is the first process the cake needs to be broken yeah so the first process is it will get broken and then it will get further broken into smaller particles it will break till that time where it will get converted into smaller particles till the moment where the particles can be absorbed by our body so what is digestion digestion is the process of breaking down the complex food molecules so when we eat the food inside the food we will be having complex food molecules and the complex food molecules will not be absorbed by our body so in the digestion this complex food molecules are broken down into simpler molecules and is brought about with the help of simple molecules called enzymes so digestion is simply if we simplify this line what we can say is digestion is the breaking down of complex molecules into into what simple ones yeah simple molecules so when the complex molecules present in our food is broken down into simpler molecules that process of breaking down from complex to simple it's what it is known as digestion so the process of breaking down of complex food molecules into simpler food molecules and that process is called digestion yeah it's simple and to happen this digestion there are several things and one of the most important thing is what enzymes yeah so enzymes are one of the most important component that a molecule that helps in the breaking down of the complex food molecules into simpler food molecules yeah so what are enzymes if we learn about enzymes what are they they are they are they have given it somewhere here wait okay we'll learn about it later enzymes break down food molecules so what is the task what is the role of enzymes enzymes they break down the food molecules into simpler molecules through chemical reaction so when digestion occurs in our body when digestion occurs in our body what what is the task the main aim of digestion is to break down it will break down yeah it will break the complex molecules into simpler molecules yeah and the process is digestion the process process is what digestion yeah and who helps to who helps in this process who will help enzyme yeah enzymes the enzymes they help in the process of di uh, digestion in the breaking down of the complex molecule into the simpler one by what by conducting several chemical reactions yeah so in in our body so in our body what happens the food it gets converted from complex to simple molecules by the process of what 
chemical reaction and who conducts this chemical reaction enzymes and this whole process of breaking down is what digestion understood so in amoeba what happened in amoeba in amoeba the enzymes secreted by the cell cytoplasm digest the ingested food yeah so we have learned about in uh, amoeba in our previous class what are amoeba they are single cellular organism so what are amoeba they are something like this they have no structure no definite structure yeah so they will have a nucleus so they so they have amoeba they have only one cell only one so this single cell will do all the work like eating looking thinking moving taking the food digest uh, digesting uh, excreting absorption and all the things only the cell this a single cell does all the work yeah so in amoeba what happens that the amoeba will take in the food yeah suppose this is the amoeba yeah we have learned that to ingest the food what happens the amoeba it will uh, produce fake hands you can say yeah this fellow they he, he, this fellow doesn't have any hands but when it will see a food it will change its structure like the the amoeba is having two hands and the two hands are going to catch the food yeah so it's like this so when the amoeba will take the food what will happen the amoeba will create a vacuole yeah vacuole means it uh suppose a sack yeah in simple terms we can say that a vacuole is a sack where the amoeba will keep its food so inside the vacuole the amoeba will take in the food and then what will happen and then the food it will get entered into the body yeah so this is the vacuole and inside the vacuole there is the food yeah and then all the digestion it will happen inside the cell so the vacuole will get the vacuole will break up yeah it will get it will break and all the food inside the vacuole will get distributed in the cell itself and the digestive enzyme it will help in digesting the food so this is how the ingested food is digested by the amoeba in case of hydra what happens underline this line okay the amoeba one okay in case of hydra what happens the cells inside the body cavity secret enzymes digestion takes place inside the body cavity thus digestion in lower animals is intracellular so this is a very important part yeah so first we have learned about amoeba now we we'll learn about hydra yeah so in hydra what happens hydra what happens we have learned that hydra has many tentacles yeah it has tentacles somehow like this and there's a speciality about hydra that it has only one mouth everyone has a, a single mouth but what will happen that the hydra takes in the food through the mouth and this is the body cavity of the hydra here the digestion will occur here the digestion will occur and then what will happen whatever uh, whatever food the hydra needs it will take in the food and the excreted part the non digested part or the part of the food that is not digested it will get excreted through the mouth itself understood so the digestion happened in the body cavity yeah so that is why there is a conclusion what the, what is the conclusion that in lower animals the process of digestion is intracellular what is intracellular intra cellular so what is intracellular intra means within yeah and cellular means cell so digestion occurs within the cell so when the digestion occurs within the cell we call it what 
intracellular so in lower animals lower animals means like this animals like amoeba paramecium hydra all these are lower animals right so in the lower animals the digestion the process of the digestion is intracellular that means the digestion occurs inside the cell yeah it will happen inside the cell it will happen inside the cell and that's intracellular but what happens in the complex or the higher animals let's take a look so in the complex or higher animals uh, like frog and man please underline this word intracellular uh, there are space there are special organs for the digestion of digestion of food the food passes through the alimentary canal here several digestive enzymes are secreted this enzymes break the complex food materials into a simpler one digestion is thus extracellular so here we are getting another word please underline this one also okay so in higher animals what happen higher animals means like humans so take the example of yourself so in humans what happens we take in the food yeah we will take in the food and then the food will get passed through the alimentary canal or the esophagus yeah this is your neck portion so inside your neck you will be having esophagus okay let me show you the diagram okay so when humans we take food what happens we will take the food through the mouth cavity and then the food will get passed down through the esophagus or the alimentary canal and then where will the food get delivered it will be delivered in the stomach and all the digestion it will be occurring in the stomach isn't it so the stomach is a part of the alimentary canal and it is happening in a cavity yeah it is the digestion of higher animals like humans it is happening in our stomach and that is the cavity and the cavity is outside the cell yeah it is outside the cell it is not a cell this stomach it is not a cell it is a cavity and it's happening outside our outside the cell and that is why it is known as extracellular what is extracellular extra cellular that means extra means we can say it's outside here yeah? and cellular it's cell so it's happening outside the cell and that's why the digestion the process of digestion is happening outside the cell and that is why we call it what extracellular understood so that is the difference between intracellular and extracellular please underline both the words okay so here we have finished the digestion part next what was the next process so after digestion what will happen to our body the food the digested food will be now absorbed so what is absorption the process by which the digested food molecules are taken up by, or absorbed by the intestine wall and sent to the circulatory system is called absorption underline this line so so what happens in absorption in the name itself we can understand what is absorption means absorbing something yeah absorbing so from the name itself we can understand a meaning that's something is being absorbed so what is been absorbed absorbed so before absorption we learned about digestion so the digested food will now be absorbed by the body yeah so our body will absorb the food so how will the body absorb the food so we learn that the food the food it got digested here and then what will happen the food will now move slowly it will move to the small intestine so this is our small intestine here yeah? so the digested food it will move downwards towards the small intestine and there there what will happen their absorption will happen so how will absorption happen so in our small intestine if we take a part of the small intestine suppose 
yeah suppose this is a part of the small intestine so there are several so inside the wall of the small intestine there are several finger like projections yeah somehow like this yeah if we zoom this part the image will be like this so there are several finger like projections known as villi so what does villi do so there here what will happen the absorb food the food that was absorbed it will move and with the help of this villi what will happen the absorb food will be will be delivered to the blood stream yeah so the absorb food will now be delivered in the blood stream so this is what happens in our small intestine so what happens in the small intestine the absorbed food will come the absorbed food will come in the small intestine and it will get absorbed in the blood stream yeah so through the walls of the intestine the digested food molecules yeah digested food so when we learned about breaking down of food yeah in digestion what happened the food molecules the complex food molecules it got broke broken down into simpler molecules so suppose we know carbohydrate yeah so carbohydrate so carbohydrate is a complex food molecule so in digestion what will happen it will get further broken down into into sugar yeah and then again to glucose so this is the broke this is the breaking down of what carbohydrate suppose again we take what proteins proteins will be broken down into amino acids so so when we say simpler molecules we say this breaking down molecules so suppose amino acids amino acid this is protein yeah so in digestion what will happen protein will be broken down into amino acid so it is now broken down so this amino acid is the digested food so through so in the small intestine what will happen the amino acids will be transferred from the walls of the small intestine to the blood stream why why the foods they need to be uh, broken down there must be something that okay it, uh, it is okay if they are not broken down and we can uh, the the protein could also go through the walls of the small intestine it, it is it uh, important that the food needs to be broken down does a question arise yes it is important why because the walls of the small intestine it's like a sieve sieve means the instrument that you uh, sorry the tool that you use for during tea yeah while while serving tea means sekoni yeah in assamese we say sekoni so that sieve so in sieve what you can see there are only small holes yeah only small things will pass through the sieve so the proteins you can say they are the proteins or carbohydrates or fats they are the bigger ones yeah so this will not get passed down through the walls so so what so what happens the bigger molecules they need to be broken down into smaller molecules so when they are broken down they will be small ones yeah so small ones so then they can easily pass the walls of small intestine and they can go to the blood stream directly from the small intestine understood so this is the process of moving from in small intestine to the circulatory system blood stream means what circulatory system and that process is known as absorption
understood <clears throat> the absorbed food is then incorporated into living cells and used by the body for its growth and this is called assimilation underline this line also till assimilation so what is assimilation now the food is now absorbed yeah so in absorption what happened the food got absorbed the food got the food is now present in the blood stream yeah so now what will happen only being present in the blood stream won't help because our body why do we eat food because we need energy yeah we need energy and that energy so that energy who will generate the cells will generate yeah so the 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 food molecules their final destination is to the cell so they have to travel from the blood stream to the cell so that the cell can use those those uh, molecules for our body for our uh, growth and other um, biological metabolisms and all yeah so for us for generating energy for various purposes of our body the components they have to be delivered to the cell so the cell is their final destination yeah so that process of that process of going the process of going to the cell and being used by the cell for our body for our our benefits for our growth is known as assimilation that process is known as assimilation so read the line once you will understand it so the absorbed food is then what incorporated in the living cells so they are now incorporated in the living cells the cell that is the final destination the cells will now use the absorbed food and then they will use for its growth and that process is called what assimilation so in the digestion we learned about enzymes here so there that's here is the definition please underline this one enzymes are proteins in nature acting as catalyst they hasten metabolic reactions so what are enzymes enzymes are like mm, enzymes they help in our biochemical reactions so they are proteins they are a type of proteins that helps our metabolic reactions they help they they act as a catalyst catalyst means they they fasten they make the reactions fast yeah so they increase their speed so the enzymes the enzymes they are responsible for the for the metabolic reactions what are the metabolic reactions like breaking down of the food is a metabolic reactions yeah the, the process of digestion the process of absorption the process of what making chemical uh, making proteins in our body and all other uh, reactions so those are the metabolic reactions and in those metabolic reactions they act like a catalyst they will um, they will make the reactions more they will increase the speed suppose in simple way if we can say that all the reactions will be speed up if the enzyme in if the enzymes they help yeah so that is the role of the enzymes in our body so in amoeba the digested food is absorbed into the cytoplasm so as we have known that amoeba it is only one cell so as soon as the digested food the food is digested it will be this distributed in the cytoplasm here cytoplasm is the cytoplasm it is present in the cell and now it will be distributed to all parts of the cell like this so on assimilation the amoeba grows its size so gradually after digest after digesting the digesting the food after absorb absorbing the digested food 
so the amoeba it will also grow in its size in hydra the digested food is absorbed by diffusion through the cavity wall then assimilation occurs in the cells living in the body cavity so hydra this was the body cavity of hydra yeah here they have tentacles so the process of absorption is hydra is diffusion yeah diffusion occurs in the body cavity this is the body cavity so diffusion occurs suppose uh, what is diffusion means suppose there are molecules here and it will get diffused sorry so what will happen in diffusion so diffusion means let's make you understand first the fusion so what is diffusion diffusion means process of moving from higher concentration to to what lower concentration so in hydra what happens in hydra the process the process of absorption is by diffusion so suppose here is the body of hydra so the absorbed food it will move through diffusion suppose it's uh, the process of excretion it also happens through diffusion suppose there is presence of higher concentration of molecules here and there is less molecules here so as you can see what happened here the molecules the compounds there are the concentration of the molecule is higher here so what will happen it will move to this side because here the concentration is low yeah so this way the the process of excretion also happens to some extent yeah so sometimes what will happen the molecules are will be more here and so if it is less here it will get here suppose in this part of the body it's less here it's more it will get diffused here so it occurs in this way so it keeps moving from higher concentration to lower concentration and that is how hydra they absorb their food so in higher organisms cow and man the products of digestion are absorbed in the small intestine so in higher organisms as i have explained where does the process of absorption ha happen it happens in the small intestine here yeah? so it happens in the small intestine next let's move to excretion so what is excretion it's nothing but excretion underline this line this is the process by which undigested food is removed from the body so whatever the food remains undigested we can remove it from the body and the process of removing the food it is known as excretion next the undigested food in higher orga animals is excreted out through anus as feces in amoeba the residual materials are thrown out of the body through vacuoles in hydra the materials are discarded through a single body cavity that works both as mouth and anus so what happens in higher organisms in humans what happens or in cows the food is digested the food will be the food we will at first we'll eat it yeah and then we will get it will get digested then absorbed then assimilation will occur and then excretion so it will it will happen in the mouth then it will move through the alimentary canal to the stomach and then what will happen it will move to the small intestine then large intestine and then ultimately it will get 
store in the rectum and then it will finally get excreted through the anus yeah so the food will move this way then it will enter the stomach and then the small intestine and then the large intestine and then it will get stored in the rectum and then finally through anus the undigested food it will get excreted so this is in higher organisms what what about the lower organisms so in lower organisms what happens the food in amoeba what happens as i have said it is thrown out of the body through vacuoles so with the help of vacuoles the food is being thrown out of the body and in hydra what happens as i have said there is only one mouth and that mouth serves as a mouth and also it serves as a anus so it will eat through this mouth and it will excrete to this opening only so this is about assertion next we'll learn about nutrition in amoeba so to know nutrition in amoeba how amoeba takes in nutrition they have given us activity suppose they have asked us to collect water from the bottom bottom of a pond so at first you take a uh, water from the pond and then what you can do you can examine a drop of this water under the microscope yeah so take a drop of a water and put it under the microscope <clears throat> amoeba is microscopic single cell organism found in the pond water so where we can find uh, find amoeba we can find it in the pond water underline this line amoeba is a microscopic single cell organism found in pond water underline that line so it does not have a mouth or a digestive system as i have already mentioned that amoeba is a single cell organism so all the things all the activities of the amoeba is done by this cell only <clears throat> food of an amoeba consists of bacteria minute algae and other small organisms under the microscope you will observe that an amoeba comes near its food the food is taken in from any place of its body by the means of projecting structures called false feed or pseudopodia so about pseudopodia we have learned so what was pseudopodia so this i have already explained that as soon as the amoeba sees the food what will happen the amoeba will change its shape like it's having some food or hand yeah so it will make its structure in a way that it seems like it's having a food and it's going to take the food by its hand yeah so this are this actually does not exist yeah so the amoeba is doing this only because to take the food only for capturing the food the amoeba is making this kind of structures they and they are known as what pseudopodia that means they are false feed they are not real they are false they have just been created for taking in the food so soon the pseudopodia surround the food the food particle will drop a water uh with a drop of water forms a food vacuole so this also i have explained so as soon as the amoeba catches the food it will create a vacuole that means a sac where the food will be present within the body digestive juices are produced which help in the digestion of ingested food in the food vacuole the digested food is then absorbed by the cytoplasm the undigested food material is removed from the body at any point through a temporary vacuole so the food it's easy though so after surrounding it with a vacuole the food is now taken inside the amoeba yeah so the amoeba the vacuole from the vacuole the food will be digested with the help of the digest digestive enzymes the enzymes will help in digesting and then what will happen it will be distributed throughout the cell yeah and the excreted part will also what will happen the the amoeba will form a vacuole another vacuole and it will excrete the undigested food so this is the process of digestion the nutrition of amoeba 
next so here we will learn about digestive system in humans so what about humans how humans they take uh, they digest our the food yeah so this is important our body cells cannot use the food in the form of in the form it is eaten by us so it's true we cannot digest we the our body our body cannot use the food like we will eat biscuit yeah a biscuit cannot be utilized by our body into energy or whatever unless it's broken down yeah so the food that we eat it cannot be processed as it is yeah it has to be broken down so the food is converted into a simpler form because it cannot be used as in the form that we eat it is important to break it into simple uh, simpler form the process of converting complex food substances into simpler absorb absorbable form is called digestion okay underline this line this will be your definition for digestion so as i have already explained it's the process of breaking down of complex materials into simpler ones the process of digestion starts in the mouth from the mouth the food passes through a food uh, food canal called alimentary canal or digestive tract so where does the process of digestion start it starts at mouth so through our mouth we will eat the food yeah so when we eat the food our food we have to we have to break the the process of breaking down of food starts at starts in our mouth so whenever you eat a food you are eating a biscuit so in your mouth you will break the biscuit you will chew yeah so the process of chewing happens in the mouth and the process of digestion also starts in our mouth so what happens from the mouth the food passes through what a canal so this as you can see it is a type of canal this small one here yeah? this small one it's the canal through which the food gets passed so that canal is known as what it's very important please remember that canal is known as alimentary canal or you can also say esophagus yeah? so that is the canal through which the food gets passed so alimentary canal is is very long it's a long muscular and coiled tube yeah so it's a very it's a muscular tube it's made of muscles yeah and it's coiled and it starts from from where does it start it starts from mouth and it ends at anus so our elementary canal it will start from here it will pass through this this and this whole thing and it will its shape is now changed to large intestine and then finally the food is expelled. so this hole from here to here it's the elementary canal it's very long understood so this is our elementary canal the different organs of the elementary canal are as follows so what are the different organs of elementary canal you can see the picture and you can answer it yourself so first one is what you will eat through mouth so it's mouth and mouth cavity or buccal cavity yeah so the cavity inside the mouth we call it what buccal cavity next it was so the food is uh, food at first it reaches the mouth and then it comes through esophagus so what will be the second organ it will be esophagus so the second organ is esophagus then what about the third organ so the food is now where will the food reach remember the diagram and you will remember the organs by yourself yeah so remember the diagram so after that the food will reach the stomach that means the third organ is stomach then the food will now reach a small intestine so that is the fourth organ so our fourth organ is small intestine then the small then the um, food will now reach the large intestine and that means the fifth 
organ of our alimentary canal is large intestine and then it finally reaches the rectum and then it will get excreted through anus so the whole journey of the alimentary canal it includes all this a seven organs yeah so remember the diagram and you will remember the different organs understood so these are the different organs what are the different organs mouth mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus so these are the seven organs of elementary canal understood okay so let's end today's class here we will discuss all of the organs in detail from our next class